There are dozens of fuel additives at the auto parts store. So which one should you use and which one is going to give you the best bang for your dollar? So in this video today, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what a small tech named Hussein shared with me many years ago as far as fuel additives. And this product has served me well over the years. And in this video, we're going to go ahead and really put this to the test. I'm going to try this out on three different vehicles and you can see the results for yourself. Definitely stay tuned. Hello world, this is Random Fix. And in this video today, we're gonna to be trying out this Tecron fuel additive. And this is a complete fuel system cleaner. This is the big bottle, the 20 ounce bottle, and it treats up to 20 gallons. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be trying this out. I'm gonna see if it makes any sort of difference on the miles per gallon on this vehicle. And then we're gonna go ahead and test it by seeing if it gets the monitor for the catalyst ready any faster than some of the other additives that I've tried. So let's go ahead and get this video started to see what happens. Since I got two bottles here, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the first bottle here. And I'm gonna add about four gallons of gas, making it a total of five gallons in the tank. I'm gonna run through this and then I'm gonna refill the tank here with a brand new bottle. And we're going to go ahead and see what sort of a difference it makes on the fuel economy as well as some of the components for emissions. And I'm adding some just generic gas here, so nothing special. There's going to be my four gallons of fuel. And when you're not in California, you don't have to pay through the nose for everything. So it's nice seeing gas under five dollars. Four gallons of gas. And the very first treatment is going to be a little bit more concentrated. I'm going to do this on purpose just so I can really make good use of the very first bottle. Go ahead and reset the miles per gallon here. So the miles per gallon are reset. Everything's at zero. The trip meter here is at zero as well. Let's go see what kind of difference this makes on the fuel economy and the monitors as well. So for this test, I'm gonna be maintaining everything. So I'm not gonna go and change the oil, change the air filter, nothing is gonna get altered. And we're gonna see what happens. And I'm gonna drive just like normal with my AC on at full blast because it's really hot here. So that gas is out. And now I'm in New Mexico. And let me put the second bottle in. And then this time I will fill the whole tank up. And all the fuel that I've been using has up to 10% ethanol. What do you guys think? Do you guys think the fuel economy has gone up? Let me know down in the video description box down below before I show you guys what's actually happening. We're gonna go ahead and fill up the tank now with the Chevron fuel cleaner in there. And I'm running 86 octane now as they don't have 87 octane. So this is a little crazy. I have driven over 340 miles, got the AC on. It is still pretty hot outside. The vehicle claims that it's averaging 41.4 miles per gallon. Ever since I got gas, I have been on the highway. There has been no traffic. However, it's still kind of astonishing to see this four cylinder full size vehicle. That's not a hybrid, get this kind of gas mileage. Stay tuned. So this is the next morning and we have put on 418 miles. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset the inspection monitors. These are the monitors that are used to make sure that your vehicle is ready to go ahead and get an emissions test performed and that all the check parameters are ready. So if you guys wanna learn more about that, please check the video link down below. As we can see, everything is green here and I have no check engine light or pending codes. I'm gonna go ahead and erase this data and then we're gonna go and see if we can get the monitors ready for the catalyst and we'll also keep an eye out for the oxygen monitor to see if they get ready any faster distance to b is going to be under five miles so here are going to be the inspection monitors and now i'm going to go ahead and start the vehicle and let it idle for about seven minutes as i normally do 10 minutes but today's a little bit warmer than 70 degrees so i'm going to go ahead adjust for that let's go and let this idle so it's been about seven minutes and we're going to go hit the road if you guys notice auction heater is already ready let's see what happens again no ac is running and the trip meter has been reset to zero right down there 1.1 miles everything looks the same except for the egr has gone ready and there we go guys at four point one or 4.2 the monitor for the catalyst got ready so that was pretty impressive and let's see what happens when we try this tomorrow and tomorrow i'm actually going to let the vehicle warm up for 10 minutes to see what kind of difference that can make stay tuned 
So 179 miles later, the oxygen sensor monitor is ready and I have not turned off the engine since I started it this morning. All right, so here is gonna be the fuel economy after over 1100 miles. So the fuel economy has improved. We'll talk a little bit about that. I've gone through and reset the drive monitors for the catalyst and I'm gonna go and let this idle for 10 minutes and then we're gonna go and see if it makes any improvement on getting the catalyst ready faster. So it's been 10 minutes, the car has warmed up. Here's gonna be a look at the monitor. So the only monitor that's ready is gonna be the heater monitor, which is right there. And let's see how long it's gonna take to get that catalyst monitor ready. Trip meter has been reset. We are on the freeway now, 3.6 miles and the catalyst monitor is still not ready. 6.4 miles, the catalyst monitor is now ready. As far as inspection monitors, I think it's a hit or miss with Tecron and this vehicle did not have any codes for a P420, but we did see a 7% increase in fuel economy. Let's go ahead and try this on two different vehicles to see if we can get similar results. And now let's try it in this Toyota Prius C. This has a very small tank, so I use one of these smaller bottles back here. And currently the miles per gallon is 40.4. There's trip A and trip B. And here's the results for the Prius. As we can see, I have driven about 157 miles and the fuel economy has increased to 43.4. And here's another example. This is my 2014 Dodge Caravan. I bought this vehicle about 15,000 miles ago and it was getting 19 miles per gallon, 19.1 when I got it. And since then I have run two treatments of the big bottles of Chevron with Tecron and I even added a roof rack. So there's a roof rack and normally your gas mileage is going to go down a little bit, but this has actually improved to 22. Normally it's reading about 21. So it's definitely nice to see that it went up from 19 to the 22 and I really think the Chevron with Tecron has a lot of added benefits. And let's talk about the advertised benefits to clean and protect the fuel injectors, the valves, and the combustion chamber. Maximize performance and fuel economy. Minimize rust and corrosion. Prevent carbon buildup. Clean and restore operation of the fuel sensor. And it's approved for use in any sort of spark ignition vehicle that has fuel injection, whether it's a two-stroke or a four-stroke. And you're supposed to go ahead and add one ounce for every gallon. I know when I started the video, I went ahead and really bumped up the amount of Tecron I was putting into proportion to the gasoline. And I did that on purpose because that vehicle had a lot of miles. So if your vehicle is newer, you don't need to necessarily do that. You can go ahead and fill up the fuel tank. If it's got 20 gallons, you can go ahead and use a 20 ounce container. And this is a New container that I have available, this is a 32 ounce. I really like this 32 ounce as a much better value, especially for some of the bigger vehicles. Now let me go ahead and summarize my opinion after trying this out. And I have tried it on many different vehicles over the years as well. After using Tecron in three different vehicles and seeing the results for myself, I can go ahead and summarize the use of Tecron as this. It is great to go ahead and apply to your vehicle once a year. You may not get a noticeable difference as far as setting inspection monitors and it didn't really help much with the catalytic converter monitor or the cat monitor but this vehicle did not have a P420 code so if you guys want to see Tecron take on a P420 I'll leave you guys a link up top or in the video description box down below. This continues to be one of my favorite products and I will always add one bottle a year to my vehicle. And if there's something that I left off in this video, please let me know what it was so I can go ahead and incorporate it into a future video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing to the channel as it really lets YouTube know that I'm bringing you valuable content and I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much.